Hey everybody, this is Justin, one third of your Nerd News Cafe experience, and I just wanted to welcome you back again. This is going to be part three of our live recording of Free Comic Book Day. I hope you're enjoying the shows, and I hope you're continuing to interact with us on Twitter. Again, if you went out for Free Comic Book Day and picked up some books, maybe you yourself participated in a cosplay competition or you won a contest at a comic book store, I'd love to hear about it. We'd love to see your pictures, so continue to interact with us on Twitter at nerd underscore news underscore cafe. Uh, like us on Facebook, our fan page, Nerd News Cafe, and go to our website, nerdnewscafe.com. Tell your friends. Once again, we will be back to our regular format next week. For now, I hope you continue to enjoy the audio goodness that we picked up on Free Comic Book Day. Hi, what's your name? Charlotte. Charlotte? Mm -hmm. Well, happy free comic book day to you. Oh, thank you. What are you excited about getting today? Um, uh, comics? Yeah. <laughs> comics in general. Hey, in general. That's, all, that's all it needs yeah, to be. Yeah. You're, you're burying the lead. We are talking to Wonder this Woman. This right? Wonder Woman is here yeah. before us. Wow. There you go. Oh, That's awesome. Cool. That's I'm awesome. really excited about the Wonder Woman movie. Are you? I think it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's, I, my bet is that it's going to be the best DC movie out in the last couple of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm hoping that it kind of raises the bar for DC. Oh, you dig that? Yeah. <laughs> it's Attack of the 25, or 50 Foot Super Fan. There you go. <laughs> Charlotte, tell us who your favorite um, co comic book characters are. Um, Power Rangers. The Power Rangers, yeah. Who's your favorite ranger? What color? Um, pink. Pink, oh, of can't course. Can't go wrong with the pink ranger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're not going back to that. <laughs> it's never ending. Uh, I will never let it go. Ah, well, you'll still always. Red Ranger, I always remember. <laughs> Matt, Matt thinks Red Ranger's the best. Huh? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> In transmission, baby. <laughs> That's not a mic drop, but it's close. <laughs> That's right. That's how you make an exit. That's right. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, thank you for talking with us. Charlotte. Yeah. Thanks, Charlotte. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> and Superman's there too. Did you see that? How did we miss Super Matt? It's your boy. I know. Yeah. Soups. Mm -hmm. Trying to raise him right. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to be. You got to have faith in Soups. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, these guys over here is like, who's too OP? He oh, is. Man. He's OP. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, that's not what makes him great. Though. I know. What makes him great is what he does with all. Of it. I know. The humanity he has to gain. Oh yeah. The one power he has to acquire himself. Yeah. And even if he is OP, just hit him with a rock and you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Superman, Superman's my, he's my all time favorite. Yeah. I was always a Superman fan. Always. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm having him watch the uh, Bruce Tim and Paul Denny cartoon. Nice. Oh, yes? So he'll always want to watch them. You Bruce. are raising him right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a Christopher Reeve Superman fan? Is that was he your favorite? You know, I actually, um, you know, I'm one of the few mi minority, but I actually love Man of Steel. Do you I really? I do too. Reeve, I'm with thought, you. Know, obviously, you can't go wrong and all that stuff. But I, I thought it was Man a good evolution. You yeah. know, when I was a kid, Reeve was great. You know, and as I'm older, I was like, I, I like Cavill. I think yeah. he he does a great job. Yeah, and honestly, I, I, Superman Returns. I think that kind of shows the difficulty of doing Superman characters if you. Emulate Christopher Reeve, you're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> but then if you don't emulate it, you're screwed. You know? Yeah. I think that shows how. Oh, here's a sticker, buddy. You can hold that sticker. Yeah. So they don't get those. So that's why. Yeah. So I love this Christopher Reeve Superman. I like Superman Returns. But I also just love Man of Steel. I yeah. Just, I thought it was an interesting take. <laughs> and sort of, again, a lot of the, the issues of why I, is someone. I like the. the Kind of the rehashing of the backstory, but a little bit more in depth on Krypton, and yeah. you know, and then I mean, I, <clears throat> oh yeah, and then you know we've got the show coming. Oh yeah. So, it's it going? Pretty good. See another Superman guy. Yeah. 
<laughs> they do exist. That, there's another one right there. They're, they're here. They live here. I don't believe you. I don't care whether you believe me. <laughs> you know, the way I look at it is it, it takes all kinds in the world. I mean, you've got to have people who are right and people wow. who are wrong. And that's how it balances out. <laughs> Did you detect that? <laughs> yeah. I use <laughs> my deducing, -like my skills. deductive skills, my deductive reasoning. The greatest detective that is never proven in any movie. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to see it in the movies. You have to do your detective work to find out how good of a detective he is. Well, and then there's the games where there's detective mode. Yeah, yeah. at least the game's getting it right. Yeah. Yeah, the Arkham games were fun. We're, we're ignoring the fact that uh, the law has arrived. Oh, I'm not. He, <laughs> he's looking right at me, dude. I got priors <laughs> Why do you think I just keep staring down? I know, right? Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Judge, judge, jury, and executioner right here in front of us. That's a legit costume. Mm -hmm. Did you make all that stuff? That's awesome. So uh, what are what are the shoulder pieces made of? Foam, foam fun comics in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's the foam. Uh, dude, that badge is on point. It is really yeah. cool. It, great looking nice. costume, man. I dig, I dig the helmet, too. Uh, is, is that also foam work? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's impressive work, man. So, don't look now, but Harley Quinn is behind you with a giant sledgehammer. We so, uh, <laughs> do what Harley Quinn does, just going crazy. <laughs> Hi, Harley. You are carrying a very large hammer. How do you even hold that thing? It's bigger than her. It's giant. Oh, Boom! oh my gosh. <laughs> is Harley Quinn your favorite? Poison Ivy is super cool. Yeah. I'm a Batman oh, guy, <laughs> so Bat Batman. The, I mean, Harley Quinn likes to give Batman all kinds of trouble. So, yeah, he's not on the shirt. This is all Marvel stuff. You're sending a mixed message. <laughs> Harley, you want a sticker? Yeah. Yes, you love stickers. <laughs> there you go. Make sure to give the back of it to your dad so that he can follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Yeah, she looks a little young for Twitter, so, you know. Yeah, you yeah. never know. Still on MySpace, though, right? MySpace, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> yeah. Start in there. <laughs> Training wheels of fame, too. Is that still around? I think MySpace I still think so. exists, yeah. I mean, you can go to yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like Tom and, like, every band that you've never heard of, so. Yeah. <laughs> Tom and Friends. Yeah. <laughs> you just can't get the rights for Tom and Friends. I wonder if that guy ever registered a Facebook account. I don't know. I bet he did. I guarantee you Tom's on Facebook. <laughs> 100% Tom is on Facebook. Uh, why You're welcome, Harley. I love your costume. Super cute. Yeah. <laughs> but watch out, because the dark night is always around the corner. Watching. Yep. <laughs> it would stick out in the middle She don't look worried. He would stick out in the day. I'm not as hidden as I usually am. So to be fair, he's a dude in a giant rubber bat suit, so he's going to stick out regardless of the time. At least it's not hockey pads. <laughs> that is <laughs> hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the Lego Batman that I just heard. <laughs> it's a little bit. Will little Arnett. Will Arnett, yeah. <laughs> Illusions, Michael. <laughs> not so much bail. <laughs> no. do like this a fail on the bail. I think um, I was trying to... I was taking tips from Abed on how you do a good bat voice because on Community, I feel like he nails the bat voice. So. He does. Am I yeah. Batman? No. Okay, I am Batman. We are, we are getting a picture made right now. You're famous. Famous. <laughs> Why do I do finger guns in every picture? I, yeah. I inspired it. I did the finger guns. We have a magnet. Would you rather have a magnet? You can have both. Oh, okay. Oh, very cool. Thank you. You don't want to put that near your phone, probably. <laughs> don't stick it to your phone. <laughs> I'm not saying Dude, that is a sweet case. I just that is noticed a sweet that. Case. My wife had one. Guardians. Oh, that's, legit. that's awesome. <laughs> nice. Have you seen the new one? I'm going to see it on Sunday. All right, good deal. So good. No spoilers. We're going to be giving out fake spoilers. So fake yeah. spoilers, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Toilet Green is Groot, by the way. So. There we go. Yeah. And Darth Vader is Star Lord's father. Mm -hmm. yep. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> what? Yeah. I know. It came out of left field. <laughs> Darth Vader is kind of like Genghis Khan. He he's responsible for about like fifty percent of the sci-fi universe. And secretly, <laughs> and secretly, it was another Ghostbusters reboot. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> well, Kate McKinnon gave it away when I Cameo saw that she was. From Bakeman. <laughs> yeah, very weird third act. <laughs> it really took a heel turn, didn't it? <laughs> The, the third hat the third act of Guardians of the Galaxy there were a lot more like proton packs and and mm -hmm. traps than I expected to see I didn't expect the Sentinels to show up either the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
right. Throw in eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just going to merge everything. We're going to put all sorts of peanut butter and everybody's chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> The clown was yeah, the I know. Show over there for some reason. <laughs> I would have figured as a Simpsons fan, I would have known that was coming, but I mean, ugh, catch me by surprise, Hollywood. It would not shock me in the sci-fi universe that the only show that has made it from our Earth would be The Simpsons. It's yeah. been going on so long, it translates like through the galaxy. That wasn't like, their intention. <laughs> yeah, the fl- <laughs> they're watching the flip. They just now got it. Yeah. They're like, I, I think the jokes are a little dated, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> they imagine and what's Earth, a dinosaur? Yeah. All Earth people just eat giant ribs on the side of their car. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, an alien's picture of Earth. Is the Flintstones, no. circa 1970? Well, when did that show even start? Was it? It was, it was like earlier the, than that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to Google that now. Ask the Googs. 1960. You're, you're saying 60. More of a visual artist there were only you, six I'm seasons. Down. Yeah. Well. Uh, but the thing about it is, I mean. There weren't, like when, because it was prom time. Mm-hmm. Flintstones was prom time. And when it was on there, I doubt there were a lot of prom time cartoons. No, I, I believe they were the first prime time cartoon. Yeah. It wasn't like a Saturday morning show. So we're talking cartoons now. All right. Yeah. This is the Cartoon Podcast. Yeah. Animation dumb it. Wait, no, we can't call it. No. Nope. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane's going to I am putting my jacket on. I'm cold. talking about. So, guys, it looks like the line's cleared out just a little bit. Why don't we step inside and grab a few of these free comic books? How about it? Sounds like a plan. Sounds good to me. All right, let's do it. So we're coming back outside just in time to see Iron Man approaching the building. Wow, that <laughs> That's is right. a sweet cost. Nice. <laughs> Full garb. Wow. That, that is some serious. I think I just found our winner of the costume work. contest. <laughs> <laughs> I have no power, so I can't give that to you. But oh, yeah. Wow, that, that is a. Uh, <laughs> that is a great looking costume, man. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what was the process of putting that together? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take the mask off. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Stark. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's all made of foam. It's all made of foam. <laughs> and it's in her mouth. <laughs> okay. uh, it's all made of foam, glue reinforced with uh, fiberglass, um, all except, of course, the gloves and the helmet. Um, and then uh, automotive paint, Torado Red. It's, okay. it's by Ford. It's like the original yeah. Ford Red. Um, and then just some basic gold. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's, yeah, a great looking it's incredible, man. Cut, hours, glue, fiberglass. I, uh, just estimation, uh, how many hours did it take you to put this together? <laughs> as, as she in the background, she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's been a lifetime. A project. lifetime. I would say, like, I would say. I don't know, because you and your dad are working on, like, two costumes at the same time. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, like, have you ever seen There's the, probably double. Yeah. Uh, wow. Wow. A, a billion hours. Uh, a billion <laughs> hours. <laughs> like, it's okay. never going to be finished. Like, Roughly a billion hours. I lost it at a hockey game. Don't know where it is. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much doomed on that one. Um, working on a... Sure. I got, well, my yeah, friend is pictures. building me a, an actual arc reactor. Nice. nice. It's going to like glow and whatnot. He says he's finished, but I... You've yet to see he it. He had to be over there. there. I gave him the measurements. He was like, oh, yeah, I'll have that done. Text him. He's like, yeah, it's done. And yeah, it's never gonna be finished. I'm actually thinking about cutting it all apart and gluing it, or not gluing, but reinforcing it to an mm-hmm. actual automotive or a motorcycle armor. So you won't oh, see wow. black underneath, okay. or like an armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then instead of having to put it in in 13 pieces, it's a jacket and some pants. That and would be yeah, cool. Streamline cool. ideal. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're the true superhero here. Everybody <laughs> say always the, sees the, the pepper of the costume here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Behind yeah. every Absolutely. great cosplayer is a is a great supportive supportive right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, well, wait, are you guys on the radio? We're doing a podcast. Uh, could, I don't have a card on me. Uh, Bam Pal Creations is what I work for. Bam Pal Creations. Okay. Uh, we have a Facebook page. Technically, I think we have a website. Let him well. here. Grab this mic. Or can you hold that up for him? Yeah, plug right. it, man. So, Iron Man's going to tell us about 
Stark Industries. Stark right. Industries here. This is probably a really bad idea. Um, <laughs> it's okay. All of our ideas are what's, bad. What's the rating of your uh, like PG-13? We add it, so we, yeah, we have, yeah, I censor. Be yourself, okay. man. Um, I, I, yeah, these okay, kids. Well, yeah. That one might. All right, uh, we work for. I work for. We work for a Bam Pal Creations, which is a local Knoxville, Nashville, uh, Chattanooga. Sometimes um, we do costume. We do superheroes for people. Okay. Uh, we do it for businesses, personal birthdays, kids, yeah. <laughs> um, princesses. Uh, we're working on My Little Pony. Okay. I okay. Don't know. That's on the other side. I just do superheroes. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um, I don't be ashamed to be if you're no. a brony. Yeah. We got one right He's here. A brony right there. Are we? Yep. I, I watched a documentary once. That was, <laughs> it was interesting. It was a good three hours of my life. Define well interesting. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I don't I don't know how to just say anything. If you have a question, that's what I'm best at. Okay. Uh, you say you do like heroes and princesses for businesses. Like like what uh, what is your roster like like oh what is our roster yeah who do you got okay we have superman batman wonder woman iron man green arrow um (laughs) (laughs) it's my favorite one uh shoot bane uh beast from bell and beast cinderella elsa sometimes (laughs) sometimes <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sounds like a sore spot i was gonna say dude just because you're wearing armor does not mean she cannot oh, no, no. <laughs> um, shoot all loving Hon- things honestly i can't i can't just well i'm we sure it's a all full fun. list if mm-hmm. you go to our website right go to the website page of bam pal creations okay there you go okay. um it's got a picture it says bam pal and with a bunch of explosions b-a-m-p-o-w yep okay uh, one word with capital letters B and P. Yep. Okay. okay. Um, and uh, we have a full list. Actually, it's not even our full list. We we keep adding. Just characters. a running roster. Right, yeah. yeah. You're just constantly adding more characters to it. Cool. Um, uh, what's the? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, 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 uh, I was going to ask what's the what's the URL for your website? Is it just bampalcreations.com? I don't. I honestly don't know if we actually have a website. I can get you guys a card that's in my trunk. Okay. Okay. That that, that, down there, so I didn't have to yeah, address. I just understand. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it back over when you All can. Right, yeah. 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 Um, and then um, you're definitely on Facebook though. So yeah, they can I, definitely I, find you on Facebook. Yes. So. Sometimes it's hard. I don't know why. Sometimes you can type in Bam Pal and nothing will come up. Sometimes you can type it in and it's the first thing. <laughs> I don't understand it. Um, but that's not on me. It's on Mark Zuckerberg. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get it together. And yeah, Mark. I've been up. saying that for years. Come no, no. on, Mark. Where are you at? Uh, but yeah, we. This is just what we do. There, nobody's here. They're actually at a diabetes walk, and I picked one over the other. And well, this is for I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, Somebody's got to represent here. Selfish reasons. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for giving us your time, man. We'll uh, we'll share your oh, Facebook page on you, our sir. Facebook that would page. Really help us yeah. out. Absolutely. Right and uh, get in there, get you some free comics, and enter in that costume contest. And tell there. people you know about the podcast. Mm-hmm. What is the podcast? Nerd name? News Cafe. Do we have any more stickers? We have a magnet. That doesn't have any information on it. Nerd that don't have any information on it. Where's the magnet? There yeah. were stickers right. on the table. Give him one, one of those because it has. One of, that's got information. That on has our information on the back. Can you handle those? Thank mm-hmm. you so much. There we go. Your handler's <laughs> great, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> the true she's hero. Well, as they call him, it is, it's she's Thank a friend. You know, she's a friend of Iron Man. Yeah. Friend that's of what Iron you're Man. supposed to say. <laughs> And that's what he is, too. He's a friend of Iron Thank Man. Thank you guys so No, much. thanks. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate the time. And again, great job on the costume. All right, you ready? All right, so now that we've made it back outside yep. with our free comic books in hand and even maybe a few that we purchased, <laughs> correct? we can talk a little bit about that. But first, Cassie, special guest star on today's podcast, is here. Landon's handler. Landon's <laughs> exactly. Landon's handler, yeah. Hi. And I want to talk to her about what she picked up. So, so what did you grab today, Cassie? Um, well... Other than the free comics, I got um, Killer Frost Rebirth. Okay. I also got the Groot Number One. Um, I got the graphic novel for Amazing Spider-Man, and I also ordered an I Zombie graphic novel. Nice, nice. Yes. I Zombie. I just, I, I actually have seen five episodes now. So, so to confirm, by the way, because I did do my research after we talked about it on the show, uh-huh. I Zombie came out in 2011, I think, as a comic book. So, so, and it, and it, but it was before the show came cool. out. Yes. So that's what it was. So, so the, yeah. the whole demeanor of the, the TV show is reflective of that comic book. Yeah. That's cool. And even the, the intro se- segments of the show is even artwork from the comic book too. So it's really hmm. cool. I had a, I had a friend of mine, uh, Greg, who told me that the, the main character's full name is Liv Moore. 
<laughs> That's right. <laughs> <Is it>? Oh, <laughs> really? Olivia Moore. Olivia, Olivia Moore, Moore yeah. and yeah. she goes by Liv, so Liv Moore. Yeah. Yep. That's, That's a little too on the nose for me. <laughs> oh, uh, my favorite, one of my other favorite names, her boyfriend or her ex fiance. Oh, Major? Major Lily White. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Didn't he play quarterback for Texas at one point? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Right. I like Major. He's yeah. one of my favorite characters, and plus he's really cute, too. He's just caught in the middle. He is. From what I've seen, I'm, granted, I'm oh. only five episodes deep on the first season. He's just like, what is happening to my life? Oh, just wait until you get caught up. Just wait. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually... I'm, I'm, you like it? Yeah, you like I'm glad you seen? recommended it. Cool. I, I, I started, and I was like... I made one new fan. Yeah, I was like, eh, I'll give it a try. And I'm like... I. Li- it, I don't know. It's It's got appeal. It really it's does. It's got appeal, and it's got a good flow to it. I don't feel like the story goes stagnant. I don't feel like they're doing anything, like, out of character from what the world they built. I mean, it's just, yeah, you know, it's a day-to-day for this, this girl who's just like, I got to eat brains, and if I eat brains, <laughs> yeah. I get everything that's in that brain. Yeah. So. That's what I think is really cool, too, mm-hmm. is when every time she eats a brain, it's like she takes on a whole new persona. Yeah. It, like, I like it become the, the, it's quirks. It's yes. like it's, it's her a, it's her personality versus theirs. It's a little bit of like what I've told you guys, kind of about Doctor Who. Like every time the Doctor regenerates, oh, yeah. he's got new quirks and new yeah, personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She does it every show because yeah. she eats yeah. a new brain and takes on kind of new affectations and stuff. Mm-hmm. And yeah. she's easy to like too. So I love the episode um, where she ate the. Um, the meditation guru guy's brain. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I just watched the where she just ate the. Uh, well, she thought it was like a fam uh, a family guy, and it was ended up being a um, Peter Griffin. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> she get balls. She's like, who the hell cares all the time? Uh, no, <laughs> no, she ate the, and he was like a hitman. So she was like, had no emotion. She oh, was no. a total sociopath. Now I'm picturing a Peter <laughs> yep, Griffin hitman, like her boyfriend's <laughs> moving on, and all these things happen, and she's just like, yeah. <laughs> so cool. Well. What did you get for free, by the way? Everything. Everything. <laughs> okay. Yes, Fair I, enough. I, I spent enough money to that you where ended up. I could just get all the comics. <laughs> and that's what you guys told me to do, is get all the comics. So and I you did. did. Mm-hmm. Okay. There you go. Well, Mission well, next, accomplished. <laughs> we'll give you two weeks. We're expecting a full report yep. on everything mm-hmm. that you've read. Full dissertation. Yep. That's right. A minimum okay, of we'll three papers. Three pages. <laughs> <laughs> Not likely, but okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. Appreciate You're it, baby. Welcome. All right, so uh, what did you pick up, Jim? Well, first, we've got a couple other people here. Oh, heck, bring it on up, dude. Yeah. So, G- Garrett, you're probably going to want to stand up. So, Garrett, this is his first appearance on the show as well. This is my son, my little one, my mini-me, and Hello. he had to be convinced to go inside and pick up some free comics. And so, <laughs> I want to ask Hello. you, what did you get, man? I got it. Uh, Try to talk right into the mic. I, I got a Simpsons comic. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And, and a Guardians of the Galaxy comic. Oh, well Very timed, cool. nice. sir. Guardians of the Galaxy came out this week, so it is the new hotness. Yeah, we got a little Star Lord over there too. Yep. Yeah, um, with Deadpool. And <laughs> it's a good mix. You got the teenage. Don't give it away. <laughs> That's a spoiler. It's okay. You can yeah, tell. You're fine. The yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic. Yeah, I'm gonna read that. Okay, it sounds good. I love that artwork. It looks almost like. Well, a, it's let the, me. It's I'll the get new to that. Ones. It's yeah. The new Turtles. Is this okay? Cool. Um, so, are you? Um, who is your favorite Guardians of the Galaxy character? Star Lord. Star Lord. He is pretty or, awesome. Or Rocket. Mm-hmm. Rocket. I'm awesome a Rocket too. Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a Rocket <laughs> Man. <laughs> Thanks, Elton. You're welcome. <laughs> and McKenna. No, McKenna on the wind. McKenna, McKenna is our is a three time. Well, this is her Whoa. third time, and she's back again. I what have did, a lot of comments. What did you pick up? You've got a big... Wow, you spent she spent all a- your money, Great. Justin. I, Wonderful. I, Aren't you glad you work for a living? Uh, <laughs> this is what happens when I'm outside not I supervising. Said, I yep. said I wanted to get a job, but I never got that. So. <laughs> I never got... Didn't you provide her with a job, I'm Justin? I'm stopping you. No, it's just you that are. you are 15. There's lots of yards that need mode, yeah. I understand. All right, mm-hmm. so I got the Death of Wolverine. I got that one myself. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was excited about that one. Yep. I got Deadpool the Duck, which is that looks the big hilarious. Of the Duck in Deadpool. Wow, yeah. nice. that's gonna be excited. fun. I got Cable and the New Mutants. Okay, okay. Um, this offbeat town. That's the Jake Smith. Yeah, Jake, Jake Smith is actually here today. Yeah, I got it signed signing by Jake. Oh, you got nice. it. Very cool. I got Vader down. That Vader is a down. great book. I've read that. You're gonna enjoy it. Okay, I'm excited. Um. I grabbed a Wonder Woman comic, but I'm pretty sure Mommy did too, so we're going to have two of those. <laughs> Wonder Woman! And I almost got that one, that you're one you're holding. The True Believers, yeah. X-Men, mm-hmm. a new team is born. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Then, 
These are mine. Yes, mommy did get the other woman. <laughs> so I got bombshells five because I only have number one through four. four. I also nice. Got number six. Number seven <laughs> and number eight. Oh, my that's God. Awesome. <laughs> so that's what I got. All right. I got you. McKenna is a fan of the powerful lead lady comics. Oh, I love it. Mm-hmm. So, so she also, I know that you're interested in the, uh, is it the Invincible Iron Man, the new one that has the, um, the lady Iron Man? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love that one. I like all the colors and everything. And the Keeps Thor. Me. She likes the new Thor. Oh, yeah, with uh, Jane Foster's yeah. Thor. Mm-hmm. So. I, I mean, they're trying to end them, but I really like the lady roles that are coming up because mm-hmm. I like to be able to relate to them exactly. more. So I don't like that they're ending. Like, they ended the Queen Arthur The once comic. and future queen. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. I was really into that. She was like a chess whiz, and she was dating this strong, powerful female, and there was all this stuff. It was really cool. And they ended it. Yeah. Because, because it. unfortunately, it wasn't getting the kind of pre-orders that they wanted for 3 yeah. and 4, so they canceled the series. But it was really cool. Um, now, Richard here at Nerd Vaughn in Knoxville did tell me they're going to put out a graphic novel that's going to have 1 through 4 of the Once and Future That'd Queen. That'd be something to get, you know. So, yeah. so she'll pick that up. But, uh, but yeah, unfortunate. Because, you know, the thing about it is we always talk about this isn't just a boys' club. and But for so long, that's the way it's been viewed, mm-hmm. is that the comic book world, or the geek world in general, is a boys' club. But... McKenna, you're here to tell us today it is not oh just a boys' club. I love comics, and I plan on taking every single one of his comics slowly. Uh, when I'm dead. Slowly. <laughs> From my cold, she's, dead hands. She's going to klepto your, your comics without your knowledge. I'll klepto your better, comics. Better keep a count. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, McKenna. I hope you enjoy your books. I'll probably read them, too. <laughs> All right, Sam, it's your turn. Come up, come over here and tell us about what you picked up. Step up to the fire. McKenna line. spoiled that you got Wonder Woman. <laughs> but what else did you get? Do you remember or do you need visual aid? Um, Sit down. We can't hear you. Sit down. Sit <laughs> down. As you, I might remind you, this is my wife. My wife. <laughs> I think it's a law that if somebody says my wife, you have to by law do I, the first Borat impression. I blame uh, Doug Benson because he does it all the time, and I find him hilarious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, don't be hating on Doug. No, I love him. All right, so tell us what you got. I only got free comic books. <laughs> you got the free ones. Because McKenna spent all of our money today. Great. <laughs> well, that was your college fund, so I hope the art thing works out for you, McKenna. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that she didn't mention that I got was Spawn. Okay. Spawn um, number one. But I love Spawn. <laughs> so did you know they're remaking the movie? There's going to be a new Spawn. They really? don't have to. Yeah, they're, they're, still, they're still... No, that it movie was, was awful. Have they went forward with it? Because the last time I saw it, it's, it's still stagnant. What I read was that it was moving forward. and they and That's they, awesome. And, and that it was going to be um, pretty brutal. Like, they're going the dark route. Yeah, there. I mean, the last one they said was kind of... I mean, I've, I've seen it, but it's been a while. But a lot of complaints were it were too comical. Yeah. When it's dark. That's what made it fun, and I don't know, I liked the fat clown guy. <laughs> John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> John Leguizamo's amazing in anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It was so bad, but that's what makes it so great. I think we got another Star-Lord rolling up here. All right. And With Spider-Man is jauntily, jauntily skipping Nine. through the rainy parking and lot. And Captain America. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, look, in wh- there's a U.S. Postal <laughs> Service Oh, U.S. Postal guy. Service is here. I love your costume. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he wins. Right? He should win. He should and enter. Yeah. So, um, all right, well, Sam, I know you're a big Hulk fan. She Hulk. It's not she no? Hulk anymore. She, she is, is the she Hulk. She is the Hulk. Uh, but she's still Banner is dead. Uh, yeah, that's fine, but... <laughs> <laughs> wow, zero but chill with this one. Maybe it will make her come into the limelight more, and we could see actual movies of her. I think it would be. It would be cool. interesting. I would. I would like to see how they do it. You know what they need to do is they need to bring her into the Netflix series. Let her just start making appearances. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That because she could do it. She's in the courtroom. Doing I would love litigation. to see her being uh, defending. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they could tie her into the Daredevil series. That's you what know, I was thinking. I figured that. My love of She-Hulk. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm <laughs> Thank you, dude. I figured out that mm-hmm. I love She-Hulk so much. Oh, very cool. Oh, Go ahead. Very cool. It's all right. Go ahead. Spider-Man looks like he's about to freeze. <laughs> <laughs> he's chilly. Spider-Man's a little chilly. <laughs> That's the thing about the Spider-Man costume. It's not very lined or insulated. He needs to talk to Tony Stark about that. 
Yeah. Have the a little chat. <laughs> That's awesome. By the way, earlier we were talking Bam Pow Creations. You can find them facebookcom slash Creations. Bam Pow Creations. Oh, and he has a, like a legit shield. He's walking in there with. It's okay. Well, this day and age, uh, you know, Captain you guys America didn't even isn't the most popular person. You didn't mention no. Superwoman was here. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. He's probably got a Hydra shirt under that costume. He'll, <laughs> he'll hydrate. He'll hydrate. Yes, hydrate. Yeah, we did get our water thanks to. I want to. I'm going to give a shout out to my wife for bringing us water. Thank you. Oh. Some of us water. Appreciate that. Oh, Cap's making his way over here. Where? What's up, Cap? Captain, looking good, man. Not, never will be. <laughs> there we go. That's okay. my spot. That's there you go. Team. That's the cap. We From know. the mouth of the yep. captain himself. <laughs> he, say, say it to the mic. Tell, tell the people. Yeah, the people need to know, Cap. Save us. This is Captain America. I want everyone to know. I have not, nor will I ever be, a Nazi or Hydra agent. That is all. <laughs> Thank why you for why your did service. that remind me of Bill Clinton saying I had never had sexual <laughs> relations he with didn't that do the woman? Hand thing, though, so he's not <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> he's got the he's got the look. It's the only impression I've got, dude. You're, you're, the outfit's amazing. The shield yeah. is on point. Uh, if you don't mind, talk about the process that went into making this. Uh, well, as as far as you think, I didn't know I was going to get put on the spot. Thanks, Landon. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Bob Barker. I, I feel like Bob Barker. <laughs> it's not as skinny though. It's Plinko. Uh, <laughs> the suit was actually uh, purchased from a company called White Sheep's Leather. Okay. Um, the belt. Uh, the gators, all that came from that. Uh, the shield was made by a man named uh, Brian Red. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want a lot of information, check out uh, Build a Better Captain America. Okay. It's on okay. Facebook. They, there's a lot of tutorials, a lot of builds. Um, a lot of stuff I've added to. Uh, buckle, uh, the carbon fiber wrap on the on the helmet. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. There's still some upgrades I want to do, but uh, it's a work in progress. Uh but it's it's one of those things. Uh, the Build a Better site, uh, it's it's a lot of just fans that have come together, and some of this stuff there was no how to, and mm-hmm. it was a lot of trial mm-hmm. and error. So everybody's kind of banded together, and uh, it's just been a process. So uh, well, that's cool, man. But there's a lot of different suits out there. People have done some uh, amazing work, uh, and. It's it's amazing what you can see some of these people come up with. Well, it's, it's like really cool. just just talking to you. It's like I can tell this is a passion of yours. This is something that you really, really. I'm like actually waiting on my wife and kids to get down here because they've been talking about free comic book day for like the last week. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a family oh, affair. Oh yeah, we do uh, Dragon Con fanboy. Very cool. Uh, I mean, the kids dress up. They they help make their costumes. So it's it's a lot of fun. That's awesome that you're able to do this with your family. Yes. And it's like you're able to share with your kids. My something wife that you're was not into this when we got married. Really? So yeah. you converted her. <laughs> converted her. She's probably more hardcore about it than I am. Hey, I'm I'm gonna make an argument here because I feel like I've done this for my wife too. It's not that she wasn't a nerd before, but you've helped her to find yeah, that yeah. and it's embrace like a it. Sculpture. Yeah. yeah. There you, you go. Take away the parts that take, are not chip nerd, away the rock. Nerd. Yep. But that's doing, right. You were doing the Lord's work. So thank. I did. I tried. I found the statue of David in the block of marble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All well, right. Thank you, Cap. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for standing up for Captain America. That's right. That's right. Cap. You're my Captain America. He, he is mm-hmm. the sentinel of liberty. Always has been. Always will be. <laughs> and with that, he's gone. And that's dropping great. the mic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, thank buddy. You. Thank you. All right. So, Sam, come back over. Tell us, tell us about what you like. I want to know what you like. What is it that you that draws you to Hulk, to She Hulk or Hulk? No, I was just thinking because she's a lawyer. Yep. And so she does a lot of like case studies and you know reads contracts and stuff. And that's what okay. I, I think. Like that I, I like your idea with having her in the Netflix series and having her represent maybe some of the legal troubles that uh, Daredevil can't quite get his hand around, yes. or maybe represent him. You know, she could. That would be interesting. Now, she should make an appearance in the Defenders. That'd be. Cool. Oh my gosh, they get into some trouble. Oh, yeah. maybe she gets. Uh, maybe she gets Luke Jessica Cage out. Jones or Luke Cage. Yeah. yeah. And They're always in trouble. Yeah. They're always in trouble. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I do get a little steamy when Cage gets on that screen. Sweet Christmas. He's a sweet Christmas. Good looking guy. Well, Purse Jessica jar. Is too. Oh, yeah. She yeah. is a good looking guy as well. Guy. I think I like her attitude. <laughs> I, like I think that's the attractiveness of her. 
Yeah. Christian Ritter is awesome. The alcoholism, mm-hmm. the craziness. Yeah. <laughs> a lot to look up to. Are you to. describing me too? <laughs> I didn't say anything. That, that's for you to make your own judgments on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Sam. You're welcome. Thanks for bringing out the kids. Mm-hmm. Yes. It is all for the children. Well, Children's. it's not all for the children. Let's <laughs> no, be honest. No, it's for the adults. The children we, just we, get mixed this in. This is for the exactly. This is for the this is for the adults, and we get the children involved in it. But I mean, have you guys <laughs> noticed? It's like a theme throughout the day. Everybody we talk to, or almost everybody we talk to, they're sharing their passion with their kids. Of course, I think that's great. Of course, yeah, it is great. What are kids for? <laughs> what are kids for? <laughs> Aside from brainwashing them, mm-hmm. that's what you do. You you raise them in your image. And then to take care of you when you're old. And then hopefully they become something and they're not, you know, living in the street. A drain on your financial situation. And, and you don't have to support them and they can I'm support sorry, you that someday. Came out. That's the goal. I'm a little wor- I'm, I'm just going to be honest. With the two that we've got sitting here, I'm a little worried they're ever going to take care of me. But uh, <laughs> Oh, they'll take care of you, all right. McK- yeah, will. Wheelchair down the stairs, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, as long as they're the beneficiaries to your life policies, life is good. Thanks, everybody, once again for listening to Nerd News Cafe. This was part three of our collected audio from the live recording. We will be rounding out our free comic book day audio this Thursday, so tune in for that. Next week, we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Looking forward to that. So don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nerd underscore news underscore cafe. We are still going to be liking, tweeting, quoting all of the headlines from all of nerddom Um, like our fan page on facebook which is nerd news cafe go to our website nerdnewscafe.com you can also email us nerdnewscafe at gmail.com for matt and landon this is justin we will see you soon 